for limited. The Tim Cable is sharing our exclusive springs and family prices. Because you go to it, it says big on an outdoor makeover that will make every get together more memorable than ever. From a new patio or fire pit, upgrading your driveway and machine, take advantage of the low prices during our Hoop for the Holiday Springs and Family Save Visitor. It's starting right now by calling 800 KB004. That's 800 KB004. Hurry to get exclusive Springs and Family Pricing won't last forever. 800 KB004 or SystemTable.com. All orders must be placed by November 30th. And installation must be made within 50 days of sale. Finance and subject to the same purpose. See website for full offer details. Contact advisors. Spectrum Business is proud to support small businesses with the best internet and phone services at the best value. But we want to do more. So now, for a limited time, get one month of services for free. That's right, one month on us. Get 200 megabits per second internet and business phones, and even TV, all free for one month. Plus, free installation. Call 855-757-4544 or visit spectrum.com slash business today. Restrictions apply. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed down 240. S&P 500 down 39. NASDAQ down 264. And the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 463. Bay Alarm Advanced Video Security proactively protects your property, stopping crime before it starts. Southland weather from KFI, sunny, windy, and warmer tomorrow. Highs mid-80s to around 90 for Metro LA, mid-80s to low 90s in the valleys, upper 80s for inland OC, 85 to 90 in the IE. Right now, 74 in Orange, 67 Huntington Beach, it's 86 in Northridge, and 79 in Sun Valley. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jeff Lamar. Right, I got the first year of for you. I have a photo of a legal document from the city of Los Angeles with the seal of the city, and it says uh, this receipt issued on November 10th is for a petition to recall my fun and blah, 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 blah. It's uh, the sponsor's purport that uh, contains 39,188 signatures, and this is from Jimmy Pack, the chief of the elections division for the city of Los Angeles, and it's a letter to Katrina Schmidt, who's one of the Mike Bonin recall leaders. So, great. Petition to recall Mike Bonin, 39,188. The receipt of uh, that has been uh, taken in by the city. All right. So there we go. And I got it. So, the rumors were true. People were lined up to sign those petitions in the West Side. Yeah, so they got uh, more than 30% extra. All right. So, now we're waiting for them. So, they've turned everything in, or? Uh, yeah, probably 40% extra. Uh, yeah, it looks like they have. They've, uh, they've said 2,030 sections. Uh, I guess that's maybe separate, um, separate petition files. I don't know what that means. 39,188 signatures contained within 19 boxes. All right. And so it's uh, acknowledging the receipt of that. So hopefully we'll all, you know, all 50 West Side people that count for the ticket to vote on the recall. Mike Bonnet. Uh, uh, speaking of recalls. Here on the John and Ken Show. Uh, even though the effort to recall L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon is going to have to restart probably next year, we had a similar situation in San Francisco with the recall of the district attorney there. They did start over, and apparently they have now met the threshold. The recall election is set for next June. Yeah, this is terrific. We're going to talk with Ricky Greenberg, the recall organizer and committee chairman. This is the recall case of Bowden from uh, <coughs> from the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. Richie, how are you? I'm doing great, and it is really happy days here in San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, did this surprise you as the only Republican in San Francisco? <laughs> no, actually, there's about 33,000 registered Republicans, officially registered as Republican, and there's many more who are... Uh, no party independent because they don't want to actually come out and say that they're Republican registered. But uh, yeah, we're we're very excited. We are really really happy. We're stoked. Uh, so how many signatures did you get? How many did you need? Okay, well the committee that was working on gathering the signatures, uh, the required amount was fifty one thousand three twenty five five one three two five. And uh, the group combined between uh, paid signature gatherers and volunteers collected a little bit over 80,000. 80,000? 
What? Yeah, so um, we wow. will never really know the exact amount, the exact number that the Department of Elections validated because they used some other method. They, don't, they didn't actually go through and count all 80,000. They do a random audit and then extrapolate the numbers out. So, but as long as that extrapolation exceeds the 51,000 and change, then they deem it as a valid petition okay. to, uh, submission. You see? But you, you had uh, more ballots from non-registered Republicans than you did from <laughs> registered Republicans. You had oh, Democrats yeah. and Independents. You had everybody piling in on this. And, and Green Party and Peace and Freedom and Libertarians. Yes, yes, we had from everybody. Well, uh, now, there won't be a vote until next June, but I see in your release here that you wish that he would just resign. <laughs> yes, because the reality is that every day that Chester Bodine is in the district attorney's office, there is a chance of another tragedy, another shooting, killing, uh, you know, store looted, um, brazen daytime robbery. Uh, we don't need that because of his enabling of criminals. And the faster he can, he can get out, the better. And we don't want to go seven more months with him at the reins of the uh, prosecutor's office. Well, That's correct. I, I noticed even the uh, progressive left-wing West job media has been forced to print multiple articles and do multiple stories on television about all the mayhem that's going on in San Francisco. Like, nobody can cover this up anymore. Well, that's really uh, a, uh, one of the benefits of technology, that everybody has high-quality cell phones, or most people do, with, with, good, with good video and camera capability. And we're catching crimes in progress left and right, and they're put on Twitter, and they're put on, on other social media, and, and, and the, the local uh, network, TV capture all of that, and they put it out there. And you really can't deny it anymore. It, it, you cannot hide this. You can't cover it up anymore. What's the worst of it? Is it the shoplifting or the no bail or the policing guys when they go out and commit more crimes? What are people that worked up the most about? Well, it's a combination of the drug dealers who are supplying the drugs to addicts in certain parts of the city where they're living in tents and squalor, and then that re uh, results in gang shootouts who are trying to control the drug trade. And that spills out into other neighborhoods, into Haight-Ashbury. We had that, uh, those robberies. There's the um, robberies uh, on, on the Asians, the local Asians here, and the store robbers. So, uh, and of course, what we see nationally now is the breaking of uh, cars, where you've got the tourists that come into the city and uh, You've got these guys that roll up in very expensive looking Mercedes that uh, hop out in the middle of the day, they have no care in the world, they smash and, and steal the luggage right out of the car, put it in their own car, they are armed, so if you yell at them, they will shoot at you. And, and that's, that's the biggest problem now, too. We don't see it safe in our own streets. Oh my God, but you can't park in the street and, and leave anything in the car because they'll steal it and they'll shoot you over it. Uh, you can't yeah. you can't shout at them and oh, I, and then and then uh, these guys are going into the WalMarts and Targets and uh, walking out with a thousand bucks worth of merchandise at a time. Yes, you got it. That uh, that nine hundred fifty dollars uh, limit from Prop Forty Seven. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are taking advantage of that, but not because of the big income inequality is because it is profitable. It's profitable for these people to do that. They're really the Well, it's not only that, it, it just becomes so blatant 